everyone, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Molly uh, and this is Molly's face. So uh, this is my first video on this channel and I thought why not start with something a little, with something a little crazy. So I could have started with a smoky eye but most people who know me know that I, I don't wear boring makeup, I don't I don't just have a smoky eye every day. If I'm wearing makeup, it is popping. It's going to be bright and colourful. Um, that's the sort of thing that I hope to bring to this channel. So to go into this look a bit more, I basically just based the whole thing. I saw a picture of Rihanna at the Met Gala. I oh, must be a few years ago now, and I thought, oh, that's a bit of an extravagant blush look. Let's let's do that. Oh, Let's do that. So then I went onto Instagram and I just typed in blusher. I went down the hashtags and there were so many amazing looks that people have done with blusher because it is making a comeback. People were so, not afraid, but people are so, don't think blusher looks nice. I love it. I always wear a heavy coating of blusher whenever I go out. So I thought, yeah, what a better way to start my channel than with one of my favorite products doing a bit of an extreme look, which I love to do. This this video will tie in with um, a blog post that I'm writing, which you can view on mollysface.com, which is all about um, the history of blusher and where it came from and why we wear it. So I thought, why not do um, a video that will tie in with that and just showcase blusher and the different ways that we can wear it. So without further ado, I'll hop right into it and you'll catch me. Okay. Hi everyone. Right, I've got the mirror down here and it's hard getting used to having to look in there and not at myself, which I love doing. So, okay. I'm just gonna jump straight in. We're gonna do, it's gonna be a bit of a crazy one, I think, because why start simple? <laughs> We're also accompanied by my boys. Can't do anything without a cup of tea, so. We start there. Okay, so, first things first, I've already moisturized my skin. I just used the um, Simple Moisturizer, just because I've already had a bunch of makeup on for the day, as this is after work. So I just thought a light, nice light moisturizer would be good. So next step really then is primer. I'm gonna use the um, Benefit Professional Matte Rescue one. I love this. It's really good at sort of hiding your pores and filling in. And I like it because it um, is still quite sticky, even though it's a mattifying one. So that's this. <laughs> and I just sort of apply it mostly in my T-zone. So I'm probably just going to take the um, Revolution Pro Foundation Drops um, in F6. Yeah, this is quite a nice shade for me, it's nice. Okay, so foundation, the Revolution Drops. So we're just going to take, before we do that, take a brief interlude to wet my sponge. Wow. Professional! Okay, hi again. Um, as you can see, I have got foundation and I've just done a tiny bit of um, cream contour. We had a few technical difficulties and the last five minutes didn't record. So next, we're taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 20. A good thing I'm going shopping tomorrow so I can purchase a new one of these. Um, I love this concealer. For a drugstore concealer, it's very good. So I just pop this under my eyes. Going in with the Revolution sponge and just starting to blend that out. Okay, marvellous. I mourned the last. 
loss of One Direction when they happened. I mourn them bad. So we pray for the revival once more. I'm gonna set my face with the RCMA No Colour Powder. I really like this powder, it's excellent. There's no flashback. It's so easy to apply and it's so, um, it's so smooth. So, yeah, I love. I like to apply it with uh, just a little, a little fluffy brush. This one's Real Techniques again. It's called, the, it's called the contour brush, but I prefer it for sort of under the eye. And then I take a bigger brush for the rest of my face. Interesting. Yeah, same for the other side. take a big fluffy brush this one i just bought off amazon i'm not gonna lie to you i've had it probably for about four years okay, okay. now that that's oh nice. next we've got eyebrows this could be fun right we're taking the revolution pro um brow pomade in shade dark brown as you can see we've got a natural dark hair situation going on um, I'm hoping to bleach it soon I want to go I want to go peach but you know I'm using this little guy for the brows okay so just gonna take it spoolie spoon out I like a I like a bit of a dramatic brow, so we'll have slugs at the end. So just blob that in. As you can see, I like to sort of um, do a straight edge bottom and um, I like to sort of round the top of it as well. Right, I'm just gonna shoot off camera and do the other one and I'll be back in a minute. Right, I'm back with a nice classy set of eyebrows. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly chuck some brow gel through them just to set them and make them a bit, a bit wild because I like them. So I just take it and I just do the hairs upwards. Um, I'm taking the Fenty Beauty Moroccan Spice Palette. This shit is unreal. It's good. Um, and take just, oh my god, if I can open it, a big old fluffy brush. And take this pink shade here, which is, right, can I work it out? Which is cool. to be honest. Just big motions, I'm gonna drag it out as well. Just big motions. I like a circular motion, just because it really helps to um, diffuse everything. Do that, we'll chuck this on the other one. Like I said, the eyes are going to be quite simple because they are not focused. So I'm taking a smaller brush. Um, I got these brushes on Amazon as well. I, I really like them. They're soft and they're fluffy. They're probably synthetic. They were like a tenner. So 
Yeah, I'm gonna take this dark, dark pink one here, which is potentially cold. Saffron. Okay. I'm just sort of gonna pop this out the corner here and here and then simple just fluff it out fluff it in and honestly you're done I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush again and go back into the lighter pink want it to look wild so far we're doing it and then I'm gonna go in on my little finger into the white shade here um, which is called Moroccan ice I'm literally just gonna take it on my little finger As you can see, I've just applied some um, lashes and some mascara. They are the WT Jasmine lashes. I really love them. They're so big and quite out there, which I like about sort of I like about a lash. And the mascara I used was the L'Oreal False Lash False Lash Superstar. Um, I used the it's a primer and a mascara, but I love the mascara end because. It has a curved wand, which is so good for getting into those little bottom lashes and giving them a lovely coating, which I love. Okay, so now, we're on to the fun bit. I'm just gonna do a light bronzer. I've got the MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer in Give Me Sun, a classic bronzer, really. Um, and I've got an Eco Tools, this doesn't have a name, it's just a big ass brush. Up the cheek. That was probably a bit too much, but I love bronzer. It is just my favourite thing. Okay, so next we're gonna take this bad boy. This is the Revolution uh, Sugar and Spice palette. And we're gonna go a bit ham. So, yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna take these two colours to begin with. down as well into here to sort of connect the two we're gonna go with a bit less gusto than that and then we're gonna bring the same two colors, we're bringing it up and we're gonna connect it to the eyeshadow and potentially up to the temple as well. Bring it down and round like this. I 
sort of like it. I sort of really do like it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take just my bronzer and just just the brush. I haven't put any extra products on this. We're just gonna diffuse out the bottom. get that blended nicely into everything else a bit blobbing at the top and then a bit of this and it just sort of helps to blend things through and with these two um, highlight shades Man nose, we're gonna go hit that shit. That was a bit extreme. Cool. I love the way that this looks at the moment. It's very bold, it's not your everyday pop to the shop. It's good, it's nice. Uh, Mac strip down, we're just gonna go for a basic nude lip. I always give my lips a bit of an over overline and I never define my cupid's bow. I just I just draw straight over it. I love the round lip. Okay. And we're gonna use we're gonna go Mac Velvet Teddy. It's a classic really. It's a nice pinky nude colour, but I'm just going to put a bit of this on. This is the Maybelline um, Colour Sensational Matte in Nude Embrace. This is my go-to everyday lip. I love it. I love that. And then we're also just going to put a bit of shine on because. whole look really is a bit rogue and well I think there you have it to see more of me I've got um, an Instagram page which is at Molly's face and I've got a blog as well which is mollysface.com both of them are fairly new I'm new to this whole game I'm just here to have a bit of fun and get involved so if you'd like to check out more of my stuff then please go look at those I'll put links in the description box below um, I think that's all I've got about to say thank you all for watching if you've made it this far and see you next time.